This is a brief video to orient you to Oracle Express, which you can download from Oracle on the web. Once you have it installed, you may have a desktop icon like this for getting started with Oracle. Otherwise, you can go into the Programs area and scroll down to Oracle and click on the Get Started. Now this is the first time through. It is a browser-based interface. And the first thing you might need to do is go into the Application Express area and log in. Now, you probably set a login when you did the install, but the system uh, username is the upper level authority. You can log in with the account that you had set up. Now you have to create a workspace. So you can create a database username area and I'll make a runner database. And we'll create a username to access that. So we'll just call it Stan with a password. You can create the workspace. Once you're here, there's going to be a successfully created the workspace log in. So I've got to log in as Stan. And now I'm to this interface where you can do a variety of activities. Uh, these are all command buttons. So you can go to the administration area if you needed to do some administration. But what we're most interested in for this exercise is simply to go into the SQL workshop. And within the SQL workshop, the areas you're going to spend most of the time in would be the object browser and the SQL commands. So let's go into the object browser and just create a quick table. We see by the drop down area that we're in the table area. Over to the right, there's a create button. We're going to create a table. So let's call this table the runner table. And we can create a few columns runner ID, the data type, we'll make it a number, and then you have the precision and the scale. We'll allow up to 10,000 runners, and eventually we might want to make that a key field, so we'll say it's not null, and we can go with the first name, and we'll make that a varchar2, and We'll allow that to be 20 characters, also required field, a last name, same thing, we'll go with a varchar2 of 20 characters, and it's also required field. Now I could add other fields to this if I were going to have relationships. Uh, I might put in a foreign key, uh, perhaps to a team table or something like that, uh, so maybe the team ID. And that's probably going to be a numeric. And we'll go the same thing. We'll allow up to uh, 10,000 teams. But we'll make that not null because we'll allow people to run that don't have a team. So then we click on Next. Is there going to be a primary key? Well, let's use a uh, primary key. You can populate from a new sequence or an existing sequence. Uh, you can select the runner ID as the primary key. It's going to call it a runner sequence. That's essentially the, the number pattern that it uses. And now we have uh, foreign keys. If we wanted to create foreign keys, for example, we could say this is a foreign key. Uh, we don't have the team table set up yet, so I'm going to skip that at the moment. We could come back later uh, if we wanted to create other tables and modify our, our tables. We can create constraints. Remember, there could be a check constraint. If you're going to enter a runner, make sure uh, that the team exists. If it needs a team, uh, that you're entering a valid team, things like that. Uh, we'll just make it simple. This is the SQL. And if you look now at the number, you can see 0, 0,5 and the team ID. 0, 
what that basically means is it's going to be zero characters uh, with five decimals or, or zero positions with five decimals which is actually invalid so if you do something uh, by mistake and you haven't run it yet or even if you run it it'll get an error message you can just hit the previous key back to that area and change it here and then once you have it changed you can go back and look much better and then you can create your table so now your table is created there's no data in it so maybe we need to put a little bit of data in our runner table we can insert a row so runner number one how about Stan? Stan Mayberry. Create and create another. So then we'll go number two. Uh, how about Sue Mayberry? And we'll put in one more. Runner number three. Bob Toland. We just hit create because that's the last one. So now we have three runners in there. You can do the count if you wanted. See, yeah, you have three in that table. But we're basically done with creating our table. Now we can go back to the SQL workshop and we can run some SQL commands. So we could go select star from runner semicolon at the end and run that and these are our results down here we can also do what's called a describe command and that tells us about the table so we have a table runner these are the columns the data types and such if they're nullable so running the describe command is a good way to get a uh, a general sense for uh, what your uh, tables and objects look like. Another thing that's pretty interesting with the browser interface is you've got this history uh, option and you can see that there are two uh, commands that I have run uh, select star from runner uh, and I can pull those up. I could also uh, put a where clause in there maybe right, runner ID equals one I can run that then if I go to the history now I've got multiple so I can go back to my original or to the one that I'm working on it's kind of a nice feature rather than having to pop up a bunch of windows all the time so that should get you going with Oracle I uh, hope you found this insightful and We'll see you in class.